So in this module, Operating Plan, we have two goals. The first one is internal, and it is to define a formal plan to articulate and track specific actions, and we call those strategic initiatives to be carried out and the ownership to execute the business plan. The second goal is external. It is to have an operating plan that you can share with potential investors that supports your business plan for growth. I have mentioned strategic initiatives. Let's remember what they are. They are the collection of finite duration discretionary projects and programs. And I will stress it again, outside of the organization's day-to-day -day operational activities. They are designed to help the organization achieve its targeted performance. So SIs, as we call them, are drivers for enterprise success and growth. They have a significant impact on your impact or business models. They require cross-department collaboration. They require significant resource commitments and they also require prioritizing uh, OPEX and CAPEX uh, spending. So what is your operating plan? It's the translation of your business plan into clear actions, strategic initiatives with desired outcome, owners for these outcomes, resource requirements and deadlines. It is an essential management tool and it matches resources with commitments. An operating plan addresses Four questions. Where are we now? Where do we want to be? How do we get there? How do we measure our progress? Obviously, your operating plan should be prepared with the people who are going to be involved in the implementation. The operating plan process is straightforward. First, you develop your income and expense models from historical or competitive data. You confirm your business plan with your team you develop strategic initiatives, and for each SI, you define the desired outcomes. For each outcome, you develop the tactics or the actions that need to be put in place. And next, you develop timelines for each of the tactics. You create a resourcing plan for each tactic. When you've done that, you load your staffing, income and expense models into your budgeting tool. And if or when you hit a roadblock, like getting short on cash, you have to return to step one, two, and three, and you repeat the process. To help you, we've put together a template for summarizing your operating plan, and we call it Operating Plan Summary Template. It is a suggestion. If you have something similar, feel free to use it. Let's look at an example. So here's what one of our former GSBI uh, social enterprise, MTTS, did. They divided their strategic initiatives in five um, categories. Marketing, public-private partnership, finance, product development, and staff. For each one, they've listed the desired outcome, the strategic uh, initiative owner, and the various actions or tactics they need to carry out. They also have added, they have added the budget and the, the key dates, the start date and the end date, and they also are using columns to track if they stay on target for these dates. So the deliverable for this uh, module 6.1 operating plan is to articulate three to five strategic initiatives to be implemented during the current budget period. And we want you to upload the operating plan summary to GroupSite. That's the deliverable for 6.1.